Hi everybody, this is Mr. Stolpercatcher and this is my fall movie preview. And uh, usually in the fall we get uh, better movies, uh, we get Oscar contenders after a shitty uh, summer blockbusters like Conan the Barbarian, Green Lantern and much, I mean many many more. I'm glad uh, fall is coming and uh, this is a little preview of all the films that will, uh, well I hope will excite me. And uh, some TV shows I'm uh, pretty excited about. Stay tuned. First up is Drive. Um, it stars Ryan Gosling and Kelly Mulligan. Uh, it's about um, this uh, stunt driver who gets involved in a criminal plot, a plot that goes horribly wrong. Um, Ryan Gosling is on a streak, I mean, every movie he's been in, he's killed it so far, and um, it seems like he's going to be in much, much more. Um, he's going to be in another movie I'm going to discuss later, uh, which is The Eyes of March, uh, with George Clooney. Uh, but more about Drive. Uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, Carrie Mulligan are both Oscar nominees, and uh, I, I'm not sure what to think about this movie. I, the, I thought the trailer was a bit fake. But uh, it looks like Ryan Gosling will put in a great performance yet again. And uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty pumped for this. Uh, the next movie is Moneyball, starring Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill, also uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, directed by uh, the director of Capote, um, which also starred Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, just let me look up his name, I just forgot. Um, Bennett Miller, that's him. And it's about um, former Oakland uh, A's general manager Billy Bean. And uh, I don't really know a lot about this because I don't live in America. So it won't be a, as big as a spoiler as it might be. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it and it might be very good. Uh, we also have um, George, uh, what am I saying? Clint Eastwood's epic look at the private life of one of America's greatest and most polarizing innovators. That is J. Edgar Hoover played by Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, we have another strong cast here and um, I think this might be Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar winning performance. He deserves it. He's been nominated three times. He should get this. He should be nominated and he should win because he's been snubbed last year for Inception and Shutter Island. So um, I'm really hoping for a strong performance and I think he can pull it off. So um, yeah, very pumped for this as well. Next up is Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Um, Guy Ritchie is really becoming one of my favorite directors. I mean, Rock and Roll was just great. I loved the movie. Um, I was surprised by Sherlock Holmes, the first one. It was very entertaining, and Robert Downey Jr. was very good in this role. Um, the trailer for the second one kind of let me down. Um, I hope it, Guy Ritchie knows what he's doing, and he'll make the second one even better than the first one. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I really can't wait to see the movie, but it's kind of a hesitation because sequels, you know, they usually fail. But I uh, will see what guy which he has in store for us. Um, next up is The Ides of March, um, starring uh, Ryan Gosling, uh, George Clooney, and uh, it it's directed by George Clooney, and it's a political movie. Uh, yet again, I'm very pumped for this. It looks very good. Um, usually, I'm not that interested by uh, political movies, but uh, this looks very interesting. Uh, it looks like it'll have uh, good, strong performances. I think this will be an Oscar contender. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we have uh, this, 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 the the oh, sorry about that. The Descendants um, up now. Another um, Alexander Payne movie. Uh, he hasn't really made one since uh, his uh, big. Comedy Sideways, which uh, was nominated for Best Picture, and uh, made Paul Giamatti a star. Uh, now he's uh, going to direct George Clooney. I saw the trailer, I wasn't really that impressed. Um, Alexander Payne isn't really what I would say uh, my kind of. Well, his movies aren't my cup of tea. Uh, I have um election at home. It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. Of course, it's quite dark. I don't mind that. I like dark movies or dark comedies. But, um, I don't know, and, uh, we'll just have to wait for it, I mean, yeah.
Uh, I wasn't impressed, and uh, I'll uh, check it out, and I hope it's uh, worthy. Uh, we also have War Horse, uh, directed by Steven Spielberg, a World War One movie based on the um, award-winning Tony play uh, War Horse with the same name. Um, it's about this young father whose horse gets drafted uh, into the army, and he well goes into the army to search back for his uh, to search his horse. Um, I've heard uh, this story is plot-wise isn't that good. But uh, I think Steven Spielberg is a master in uh, World War World War One or World War Two movies. Like, he's actually done only uh, World War Two movies, but I, I'm sure he can pull off a World War One movie as well. I'm so pumped for this. I think this might be one of the best movies of the year. Uh, now we have Fifty Fifty, and it's a, about a film about a man dealing with cancer, and it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt and uh, Seth Rogen as his best friend. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt ever since. Uh, 500 Days of Summer, a movie which I love so much. Well, actually, since Third, uh, Third Son of, Third Son of the Rock, uh, I think it's that. Uh, I forgot the name. It's so stupid of me. Uh, you can um, hate on me later for that. Um, it turns Rock on the Sun. That that that's it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, he's such a good actor. I mean, 500 Days of Summer, Inception. This guy is really becoming one of my favorite actors. I I love love this guy. I hope. He can get an Oscar nomination for this performance. It looks like a subdued performance, but I hope it's one like Jesse Eisenberg where he can get in and it would be worthy. It looks so good and so funny. And my last movie I'll be talking about is um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, an uh, American ab adaptation of the Stig Larsson books. Um, everybody's calling this a remake of the Swedish movie. It's not, it's an adaptation. Of the books by Stephen uh, Zalian, who also wrote uh, Gangs of New York, Schindler's List. Oh, I think it was Schindler's List. I'm pretty sure it was. I might be mistaken for that. You can correct me on uh, correct uh, that if you want. Um, wow, that trailer is just amazing. I swear to God, it's it's great. If there's ever an Oscar for best trailer, it wins without a second thought. That trailer was amazing. I didn't know what to think about it, but when that trailer came out, I swear to God, ever since I've been so pumped, and this movie just looks fantastic. David Fincher just comes back from his um, award uh, nomination, uh, directing nomination for The Social Network, which he, sh he should have won, but whatever. And, uh, I mean, wow, I can't stop t thinking about this movie. I tell everybody, we got to see this movie. It looks great. It looks amazing. I'm so pumped for this movie, my only hesitation is that it might just be not what I'm expecting, it might be bad, it might be a flop, it might be, I don't know, Jump the Shark, although it's David Fincher and he's a very, I mean he makes dark movies, look at Seven, Fight Club, I don't know what, what to expect, I hope it's going to be that fantastic movie, everybody's going to be so, I mean, that it wins Best Picture. I don't know. I hope it's gonna be great, and uh, I really think it will. But I'm just well, always when I get my expectations up too high, it kind of lets me down. The only movie that didn't was Inception, but whatever. Uh, yeah. So I hope this this will be the best picture winner and the Oscar. It will get the Oscar for David Fincher, finally. And uh, check out my um TV movie uh, for TV preview. I thought I was gonna do it. It and I was gonna do it. it ah, sorry, I'm kind of stuttering here. Uh, I was gonna do it in this uh, video, but I guess I don't have enough time. So check out that as well. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Comment below what you uh, what you're looking forward to. And uh, who knows? Thanks for watching.